and welcome to this episode of Weird Bits. Uh, this episode is sort of brought to you by Smalley, a company that uh, makes retaining and spring products. And I wanted to give them a shout out because normally what I do for these Weird Bit episodes is I go to McMaster Car and I buy the parts so that uh, we have an opportunity to see the interesting hardware that's out there. Uh, I contacted this company and asked them for some samples and they went way above and beyond and sent me some samples uh, so that uh, we could all take a look at some options out there for uh, retaining parts. So let's just dive right in. Before we get to the offerings that Smalley sent me, uh, here is just some of the items, sort of things we're talking about. And these are E-clips, and they have a C-clip version. These are retaining rings, uh, snap rings also called. And these would fit in grooves on external side of a shaft to hold the bearings in place, for example. Uh, these would also go around a shaft. These are commonly known as, uh, through the uh, colloquialisms, uh, a, a Jesus clip because while you're trying to put them on they often fly across the room uncontrollably without sliding into the slot and uh, then you've lost it and you got to go find another one and as it flies across the room you exclaim Jesus anyways uh, I've been frustrated many a time with these guys especially when they try and put them in more difficult uh, situations these are the external versions of these uh, retaining clips and these go into a slot on the outside of a shaft. They also make a version where this part, instead of tapering to the inside of this uh, two-hold uh, section, would taper to the outside and that's for an inside groove. Uh, I don't happen to have any of those. These are all external. Um, you would remove them with a tool like this and you'd pop these uh, pliers in the pins and you'd open them up for the external version and then you'd uh, move the screw on these guys for the internal version to do the exact opposite to pull them together. Um, but now let's get on to the interesting and uh, more unusual things that Smalley sent me. Starting with the, uh, the, the le least unusual version, uh, these are a set of, let's see if I can get this uh, description uh, sheet out. These are a set of constant section rings, and uh, one of the advantages of these guys is they are much, much sturdier than your typical uh, E-clip and C-clip or even snap rings. Uh, you can see from this guy how thick this is. Uh, they'd go into a much thicker groove, and the removal uh, methods for these guys vary tremendously. Uh, some of these just have a, a little... Uh, indented section that you can grab with a screwdriver. Some are flat. Uh, some have a hook on them specifically designed to make it easy to get a tool in there and pull them together. This must be an internal one. I'm guessing these are external ones. Uh, overall, these are a lot beefier than all of those uh, retaining rings. And Smalley makes a huge assortment of them in a bunch of different sizes and uh, makes custom sizes. Uh, they're all made out of high, high strength spring steel. One more thing to look at here is that you can tell that this is an internal ring uh, because it's designed to fit in a groove along the outside because this indentation here is designed for a screwdriver to safely fit in there and pop this ring out. If this were an external this would be reversed and it would be on the inside where you could also get a screwdriver in there. This one is sort of like that but not as uh, convenient. Ah, here we go. Here is one for an external ring and again you can pop the screwdriver right in here and safely remove the ring. And uh, there's a bunch of common applications for this. Uh, these, I should note, also require a fairly thick and deep groove uh, in order to be effective. When you have thin wall tubing and can't afford a really deep groove, uh, Smalley has another solution and they call them hoopster rings. And these guys are designed so that uh, they have a large cross-sectional area which gives them some stiffness and they can hold retained parts without uh, sticking out very far if that's what you need. Um, if you need to be able to get access to them, uh, they do have an option where they can turn up one end slightly. This one's bent in, so this is for an inside uh, an inside hoopster ring. And you can get a screwdriver in, to pr in here to pry this guy out. And uh, that makes it really handy. Some other ones of these are perfectly smooth going all the way around so that they will sit out no the the open ends won't sit out any further than the rest of the ring for cases where that applies 
So the next offering is even uh, more interesting still, and these come in a whole variety of shapes and sizes, and these are called spiral locks, retaining rings, and these are very different. These are work externally and internally as well, uh, but these are different than your typical uh, E-clip, C-clip, or uh, outside uh, uh, retaining rings, uh, snap clips, and these guys are actually spring steel put in a spiral and the difference is there is no gap on these they will fit in a slot all the way around and the way you get them in is you pull the ring open if you're going to do it manually without a tool and you just wind it in you thread it in and the whole thing will find its way in and be perfectly in place. You can design these to be not removable with a special tool that will compress this guy in, fit inside between two parts, it'll snap in place, and then you won't be able to get it out at all if that's what you want for permanent assemblies. Um, these guys have little screwdriver uh, reliefs in them. Some do, some don't. There's a version of these guys that actually have a little locking clip to lock these two pieces in place so that it can't come out at all without unsnapping it first. Uh, there's a whole variety of shapes and sizes. These were sort of the more unique version. And again, I've seen these to work externally and internally. They make them in a whole variety of materials, including a bunch of really exotic materials if you need that sort of thing. Um, and uh, I found these to be the most fascinating offering that they, they sent me. Uh, because I, although I had seen them once or twice before, uh, I'd never seen all the things that they could do. And uh, I was really impressed. They make versions of these that are more than just uh, two sections going around. And they actually can be used as seals uh, for sliding pistons. I printed up some of their literature because there's some really interesting examples here. Here's an external uh, spiral clip, uh, spiral locks, holding this rubber boot on. And uh, there's a pneumatic fitting. And uh, this is one of the, uh, the other ones, uh, the hoopsters, uh, holding this internal piece in place. Uh, also can be used to seal or um, hold cylinders in place, ratchet wrenches. Uh, here's the spiral locks. These are mostly spiral. Oh, there's a, there's another, uh, one of the first ones, one of the heavier duty, uh, cross section rings. And, uh, here's another example holding valves in place and bearings in place. Uh, there's another one holding a pulley in place. And, uh, this is an inner di this is an IDOD lock. Now with this one, once this guy goes in, it's going to be really hard to remove. You can see that uh, you preset it in place, you slide your part in, and once that locks in, that's going to be hard to remove. If you're trying to design a one-way part that uh, you don't plan on making serviceable, that could be a really cool solution. Um, so normally, this if it's put in by hand, you would, like I show you, thread it in, and it'll be perfectly in place. Um, but if you are doing an automated version, you can make a tool that just pushes it right into place. Even if you have multiple grooves deep, you can make your tool to fit past the first groove and uh, slide the part in place. And they're showing how the, the relief there lets a screwdriver get in place or a dental pick. Or they have a custom tool that looks like a bent sewing needle eye that grabs just the tip and lets you pull it right out. That's really handy. And as I was telling you, they've got a laminar seal version of this, and uh, these are more a different variation on the spiral lock, and they can actually be used to make seals uh, for to keep oil in place. Pretty cool. All in all, I think these are really neat parts, and I'd like to thank Smalley again for sending them to me, because when I called them up asking for samples, I told them that, you know, I'm not doing this because I'm planning on buying them or engineering a project. I'd really like to just show viewers what's out there and available, and uh, I really appreciate them sending to me because I was very generous of them since I wasn't a paying customer. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time.